Grand is a grind, that's what's happening. She got a black abstract. You locked in once again. I appreciate you for doing me a favor. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can do this again. Fist bump. So, we're going to get into what Monique was talking about. Monique uh, released a video on her, I believe, Instagram, maybe. Where she was talking about sisters wearing bonnets in public. And uh, she caught a little backlash for it. You know, she said she want our queen... She want queens to represent themselves and be seen in that light. So wearing bonnets and um, scarves, et cetera, et cetera, in public uh, was, she said it in a nice way, but she said that shit is ratchet pretty much. That's what she said. Uh, and I'm here, to, I'm here today to double down on that shit. Listen, I'm a black man. I come from a black woman tell you from a man a black man's perspective we don't want we don't like that shit i'm not saying all brothers but the the, the, the brothers that got they shit together when they what attracts them to the opposite sex is not a bonnet i understand you want to be comfortable slap a wig on or something i don't we don't like that shit period men don't like that shit and i know you oh we not doing it for y'all and we not doing it well you represent us Sisters represent brothers, whether you like it or not. You're a representation of us as well. Just the same way y'all don't like dudes that got their pants hanging, hanging, sagging down, or they smell like weed all day, or they smell like they ain't washed their ass in eight days. Same dusty ass white t-shirt or whatever you got. Same standard. We don't want no rat. We don't want no stinking ass bonding on your head. That shit is trash. Stop it. Monique just trying to get y'all some Jews, man. She an older, she an elder stateswoman. She she been in the game. She's married. Y'all trying to drag her for this? Like she just trying to get y'all some game. Like yo, let's represent. I, I, I read an article on this uh, prior to doing this video, just to see reactions. And the article was from a black woman. And you know what they did? It, it's the same thing I talk about in all the videos. Instead of trying to see it maybe from her angle she 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 fat shamed her she brought up her weight she brought up Mo, monique's weight oh it's a it's the same thing with her being fat she's held to a different standard than other dude that has nothing to do her weight got nothing to do with this she can be fat all she wants she's married she found somebody to hold her down tie her down whatever and she's successful I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. This is the shit Kevin Samuels be talking about. Embrace femininity. Not this third wave feminist bullshit. First wave. The way your mama... Would your mama... Look, listen, I don't even answer that because mamas is young nowadays. But All right, would your grandma be outside in the bonnet? Grandparents are like the standard for... For black folks, the, the role that's who I idolized was my grandfather. The way I run my house now, the way I, I manage outside my house, I, I keep my my grass cut, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Wash the side, wash my house off, just wash my house off. Is molded after my granddad. This is stuff I saw him doing growing up, and it, it got embedded in me, little beknownst to me. Then hit me till I was mature enough to 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 want to buy a house or do these certain things and it just it just came natural to me and i wonder like yo where did i get this from it was from him i didn't have my pops in my life my granddad was was my pops but he passed in 97 it's the same my grandma she would never be caught outside with a bonnet on she stayed at home my granddad worked when he came home he had a hot plate on the table House was clean, uh, kids was fed, everybody was well kept. I'm just saying, ladies, if you're trying to get you a husband, he could be in that airport while you got that bonnet on. He might just look past you or overlook you because he like, yo, she not even putting the time and effort into her appearance. Whether it's, it's you on the plane for what, I understand you want to be comfortable. Throw some Adidas sweats on, Adidas warm up. Pop the wig on, throw your shades on, get your little neck thing. But females, y'all represent us. 
We represent you. So, like I said, if you if you if you dating a nick a dude, I ain't gonna say that one. If you dating a dude, he ain't got his he he coming outside. It's like I said, his pants hanging down off his ass, etc., etc. Call it same shit. I expect y'all to call him out. That's the way my little brother liked to wear his pants. We was out in the store one day, and I saw a female friend that I knew. A sister, and she was just like, yo, we... She said, yo, we don't like that. She came right up to him. She said, what's your name? Introduce her. So, what's your name? You, okay, you his brother. All right, let me tell you this. I know I know you, but listen, females, we don't like that. We don't like that at all. Pull your pants up. Yo, ho, ho, ho. Well, I mean, it's for me. Like, why you want your ass out? It's the same. I, that correlates with bondage to me. The young dudes having the ass. What do you want your ass out for? Who you trying to attract? You supposed to be trying to attract girls. They don't want to see you. <laughs> don't want to see you. I don't get it. But listen, I agree with Monique, man. I'm sorry. You say what the hell you want in the comments. I'm just keeping it real from a man's perspective. We don't we don't like that. We don't like it. We don't like it. No matter how glittered you get them, how it No. Don't do it. Well, you can do what the hell you want to do. At the end of the day, it's your body. But I'm just telling you. This is what Kevin Samuels be talking about. High value men. You want to attract you a high value man. Even if you don't want to attract you a high, if you just want to attract you a, a young king, a king in the making, you got to be ready. Eddie Murphy didn't go to New York. He didn't come from Zamunda and go to New York and bag Shorty with the bonnet. He bagged the Shorty that had a job, even though she it wasn't the best job in the world. She was working. She was intelligent. Her appearance was right. And not saying you can't be all those things. But you quick to get overlooked if you got that bond on. They going you automatically get grouped with the ratchets. That's just what it is. But hey, don't shoot the messenger, man. I'm just uh I'm supporting my big sis. Listen, I don't agree with Monique all the time, how she go about things and what she do, but I do agree with her on this. And like I said, I'm coming from a man's perspective, a black man's perspective. And I'm hollering at the sisters. This ain't the shame, y'all. Listen, I wouldn't be in this world if it wasn't for a black mom, a black queen. So shout out to all the queens out there. But listen, we all need to tighten up all around us. And it's not to, we're not trying to conform to what America's standards is of us. We give a hell what they say. We, I don't care what no, I'm not talking about what Caucasians think of us. I'm talking about from a, a black man looking at a black queen. This is what we expect. And I'm not talking about me. I'm spoken for already. So, But I'm just talking about from black men that are single, that are looking at black women that are single, black queens, queens in the making. Bonnet shit is done. We don't, you, that's, if you from the hood, you ratchet, that's what you, that's cool. It, it's all good. But listen, that's what you're going to get grouped with, with the ratchets. But like I said, it's all perspective. So let me know what you guys think. Post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And let's talk about it. Let's have a healthy discussion in the comments. Let me see it from your perspective. Maybe I'm tripping. Till next time. Peace.